Woody, it's the second time we've been here this season and it's the same result. We left with three points. Uh, better than last Saturday, I would say. Yeah, do you know what? Um, we've lost the uh, last two games in a row, so we're not used to that since the start of the season. And uh, I asked the boys to send a uh, bit of a statement and a reaction today. I was looking for a massive reaction and uh, we changed it up a little bit. Um, and I thought we was really, really good. You know, I think if we had have won eight or nine, I don't think it would have... Uh, that would have been all done by. I thought we dominated from start to finish, and like I said, we could have had a few more as well. First half, we were absolutely fantastic, even though the weather was for ducks. We absolutely battled forward, and it was, um, yeah, what was it, 3 0 at half time? Yeah, 3 0 at half time. I thought we, uh, we stamped our authority really well. To be fair, they had a chance, uh, they had the first chance of the game, good block by Tom Ash, and then from there, we just stepped it up. And I thought the back four were absolutely tremendous today. Um, I thought Toller and Ryan were really, really good. They dealt with what we had to deal with. We had one lap some concentration where uh, we had the ball cleared off the line, but other than that, I thought it was really good. Um, Harry Taylor came off the bench in the second half. It's great to see him have some minutes and a goal. Um, will he be in your plans going to Tuesday, or are you going to save him for Saturday's game in the FA um, Mars? The plan wasn't for him to be here today. Obviously, Alfie Mays, he had a few issues. Um, personal issues so Harry came into the squad up from the under 23 so he wasn't meant to be here today he was meant to get an hour after the 23 is down at Maidstone um, but he came on and I felt we needed him and I thought we added a little bit of, a little bit of extra and to be fair his first bit of action he came on cleared one off the line um, which was really good and then obviously he got his goal which was which would be good for him as well because I know he's been chomping at a bit to get a goal he scored uh, Wednesday night for the 23s and he scored again today so it's good to have him back around and look it's good to um have options. I thought Jamie Humphreys, who led the line really, really well today, with Eldo off him and Stead's the other side. It's good for Stead to get a couple of goals, but uh, yeah, it's good to have options. Harry's nowhere near fit yet. He knows that. I reckon he's about two or three weeks away from full uh, full fitness, but he's got half hour under his belt today. Uh, Jamie got another good hour, hour uh, seventy minutes out of him today as well. So he hasn't played a lot of football. Um, and yeah, it was, it, it, it's good to have them back. It's good to have headaches as well. Obviously, JJ hasn't played today. Um, and he's been probably our best player so far this season. So I left him out for Toller, because I thought it was more of a Toller game defensively uh, from set pieces. But um, no, credit to uh, credit to the boys, credit to everyone, it was really good. That was going to be your next question actually about uh, Humphreys. Obviously he's on loan uh, from Beckenham for a month. Are you hoping to, next, to extend that? It's tidy up to the manager, Jason. They've been really kind to us. Jason was really good. Uh, because he obviously started at Hendon and that was done all between during the day and Jason was backwards and forth and I thank them very much for that and I think he's been really good. He was really good at Hendon the other night and he was really good today as well. And look, he's Beckenham's player, he's there with us to do us, uh, to help us and we're going to help him get in minutes. And like I said, he's had 70 today, but he knows he needs to get a little bit fitter as well. And to be honest, if he's scoring goals, it's then up to Jason if he needs him in his plans. But like I said, he's Beckenham's player, he's here for a month, so we'll just go away from there. It's also good to see uh, Joe Chalker back in the team, obviously, after his injury. Uh, obviously, he's getting uh, some minutes slowly. Uh, do you reckon he'll be a uh, first starter soon? Um, Joe's obviously started at Hendon. Uh, I thought he was poor for the first half hour at Hendon, 45 minutes. He went into the game. He's not nearly fit yet either. I think he's two or three weeks away from full fitness. He needs to get some minutes under his belts. and. That's good while we have the 23s, the players can go and get minutes there and build their fitness up because it's, it's hard obviously to get match fitness during uh, training sessions and things like that. So, no, Joe's not far away, um, Harry Taylor's not far away, so and then you bring Alfie back into the squad Tuesday as well. We've got two cup games uh, coming up uh, this week with uh, Punjab uh, on Tuesday night and then obviously the big one in the bars against Guildford. Um, are you going to be playing the same team that he was at Hendon on Tuesday and save some players for Saturday? No, listen, um, we've got a squad of 19 players, right? Um, 20, 19, 20 players. And as you see today, JJ started every game. He was left out today. So it's not the case of mixing things up and, and having a strength, a strong side, a weak side. It's basically the case of we've got 20, 19, 20 players and they, they all are good enough to start, in my opinion, and all are... I'm comfortable with all of them playing. If you look at like look at the bench today, obviously, like I said, JJ's not started. Mal's played the majority of our games this season. Uh, Harry Taylor was a starter at the start of the season since he got injured. So, look, there would be no that we go we go strong. Um, it's a cup I want to win as well, and Punjab's not an easy place to go. So we've got to make sure we go there with the right attitude and the right mentality. Fantastic. Well, uh, thanks for your time, Adam, and enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Thank you.